In this example, we're trying to work backwards from what we were just doing, and this time we have a graph and we want to write out the equation for it. So in this case, the question is, find an equation for the graph below. And here again, it's a straight line graph, and we have an x and a y, and we have it going in a plus and minus. So it's drawn all properly. The problem is, how do we find the equation for it? And of course, it's a straight line graph, so hopefully you remember the general form of a straight line equation which is y equals mx plus b. So the key thing from here is to try to figure out, well, what's, what's my slope here? In other words, what's my gradient of this graph? And what's my y-intercept? That's because m is the gradient, and b is the y-intercept. So I think the, the goal should be to try to find out what is the y-intercept from here and what is the gradient. So in this case, okay, I'm going to look at this graph, and hopefully it's really apparent the easiest thing is the y-intercept. That happens when x is 0. Here's the x value of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. So when x is 0, what's y? I go hunting around. I don't see any y's here, but oh, here is where the graph, here's where this line crosses the axis. So now I know that my y-intercept is negative 2. Okay, so there should be no doubt there. My y-intercept, maybe I'll write it in red here, my y intercept will be negative 2. So that was really easy. That means now I already know when I write it in y equals something x plus b, I know that my plus b is actually going to be negative 2. In other words, now I know for sure that my equation is going to look like y equals, I'm going to leave a blank here because I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just put in the x here. There's going to be something in front here. Then I'm going to say minus 2. So the question is what goes right here? What goes in front? That's my gradient. This gradient isn't quite so easy to find. I want to try to give you one where it's sort of like a fraction because every one unit I go to the right, that could be one definition of a gradient. Remember, we were talking about that in the last video, that if I go one unit to the right from this y-intercept, maybe I'll draw a point here now. I have a y-intercept here. If I go one unit to the right, I have to go up by that amount. If you notice, though, it's not a whole number. It's not going up by one. It's going up by less than one. So what's this fraction here. And that's why it might help to actually uh, use another definition of gradient, which was rise over run. In other words, delta y over delta x. That's what I'm going to try to do now. Okay, so I'm going to try to look at this and maybe say that, remember now, gradient, in other words, m is rise over run. What that means is that how much do you have to rise by divided by how much do you have to run across by? So see, rise is a trick telling you to go up and down, and run tells you that's like running across. That's running straight across a line here. In other words, I want my delta y over delta x. In other words, how much does my y change divided by how much does my x change? It helps to look at uh, values here that make sense. In other words, I need to pick two points on this graph where I can determine how much the y is changed by and how much the x is changed by. If I pick this point and this next point, you can see it's not very suitable. It's not very easy. So I'm looking for places where this straight line graph crosses really nicely some nice, you know, these little tick marks, like these little blue lines here. So if you look, I'm probably going to pick this one here. That one crosses nicely, but I'm not going to choose this one. Maybe I'll choose this one. If you notice that right there, that hopefully makes some sense that I pick this one right here. I'm going to draw a little dotted line just to kind of show what I'm doing here. I'm going to draw a dotted line here, a dotted line here. That tells me then that I can figure out, well, how much does this go up or down by? Remember, this is a slope that's positive because as I go right, I go up. So I know for sure my slope is going to be positive. In other words, my gradient will be positive. In this case, what will it be? Well, how much do you have to go up by going from here to here? What's the difference? What goes from negative 2 up to 1? So that means it goes up by 1, 2, 3 units. So I know for sure that it changes by 3 for the y, divided by how many does it change for the x? What goes across by 1, 2, 3, 4? So I could say in this case my slope is going to be oops, 3 over 4. That'll be my answer here. Yeah, that'll be my gradient, 3 fourths. In other words, remember 3 fourths is actually 0.75, so that means as I go 1 to the right, I go up by 0.75 units. Hopefully that makes sense. It's less than one. And in fact, it looks like about three quarters, depending on how you look at it. But I find the key is here to look at this 
change in y. Okay, this one right here was a change of three. This one right here was a change of four. That's why I do three over four because it's like saying rise over run. Okay, so that's how I can do it. Now, if I know that my slope or my m value is 3 fourths, and I know that my b value, so to speak, is minus 2, I can now easily write my equation out because I just put in a 3 fourths here. That's a positive because it's going up. If it was going down, in other words, if it was going like this, a negative slope, it would have been a negative in front of it. So this is my equation. Keep in mind, you could also say that it's y equals 0.75x minus 2. If you wanted to, you could also do that. Uh, what you could also do if you really felt like it, you could actually decide to get rid of this fraction by multiplying everything by 4. You could also do that. That would give you 4y equals 3x, and then because that's because the 4 here would disappear on the right side. And if you want to multiply the negative 2 by 4, you'd also get negative 8. So this is also the same. You could also graph. You could also say this is the equation. So this equation, or this equation, or this equation are all correct. Very often they prefer this way right here, that it's y equals mx plus b4. But again, these are all correct, it's just different versions of the same equation. Hopefully that helps. So you can find out equations just by giving, being given a straight line graph. Okay? You can always figure out the equation of the graph just by knowing what the slope means or what the gradient is, and if you know what the y-intercept is. You can always tell those by looking at a graph.